ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for your away team. They are the Delaware Clams. Welcome, everybody, to the week one matchup. It is the Delaware Clams at the Michigan Mustangs, Clams only on Centennial led Station. By starting quarterback, rookie sensation, Peyton Manning Jr., and wide receiver here. Crex, who are you playing for? I forget. Oh, and Mike. Dad, uh, clams, clams, please go to your uh, your sideline. Don't get to the midfield. Not yet, at least. And ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for your Michigan Mustangs. Leading the pack, defensive end Kyle Wessex. Following, running back. Mason Hunt and to close it off he is the starting cornerback quarterback give it up for your team captain Mike Williams yeah Mike Williams out here you know he's definitely been working a lot with Nate Shea two-time MVP a lot in the offseason Nate Shea was showing him some of the ropes and you know coaching him up showing him how to do things and I mean after the last two seasons how they went for Mike Williams he definitely needed it. He has been on, I believe, three different teams. The Mustangs, Dragons, the Outlaws, and this will be his fourth with the Mustangs. Um, or sorry, the Vikings, Dragons, Outlaws. And, you know, last season, he choked the Diamond Bowl against the Wolves. Sorry. Mason Hunt, his running back, won that game with the Wolves. Still sideline, And, you know, it's just going to be a big time and play. And, here we go. Please rise and stand for the playing of the United States National Anthem. Play ball. Captains, please. Captains, please report to midfield. Yeah, you do too, you do too. Delaware, you are the away team. Please choose heads or tails. Siri, please flip a coin. It is tails. I don't know why it didn't say it this time, actually. Oh, that's why. Okay. How do you hear him? How do you hear him? Oh, he's putting it in. He he's got to call. You know, does he know he has to call it in like actual voice when he snaps it? All right, they elected a fur to the half. Or they elected a fur to the second half. Michigan will kick off the ball. And yeah, just like I was saying before, the national anthem. Mason Hunt was a part of that New York Wolves team that defeated the. LA Outlaws last season with Mike Williams so Mason Hunt has a little experience coming out here 
but Mike Williams struggled a lot last season as Mason Hunt gets some good route running, gets open a little bit, so is Kyle Wessex. As Mike Williams is going to let one fly, Kyle Wessex cannot pull it in. Just out of reach there, as it's going to be 0 for 1 on the day for Mike Williams. Rough start here out, coming out, and it's going to be a pitch as it's incomplete. Forward pass does not go for yardage. Mike Williams cannot get it to his running back. As now taking the snap, finds Mason Hunt up the middle. A missed tackle. Missed tackle from Peyton Manning Jr. And he wraps him up further downfield after what I believe is a 40, 30 plus yard, 40 yard gain. Yeah, 38 yard gain there. On the slant alone, Mike Williams, Mason Hunt coming out and showing the Clams who boss is in that running back formation here tonight. Big game. Mike Williams needs to shut up the fans and show them why he is who he is, why he's out here to compete. You know, made it to the Diamond Bowl last season. And there it is, the pitch to Mason Hunt hits the edge. And it's good for, what is that, 14, 16? 16 yard handoff there as we take another look Mason Hunt just able to hit that edge and you got to think if the block in the black or sorry if the block in the back didn't come from Kyle Wessex there most definitely got 20 plus yards but Mike Williams going to motion him out on the screen pass a missed tackle and Mason Hunt is in touchdown Mustangs the take the 6-0 lead it's a beautiful read by Mike Williams it was guaranteed a yard, but the missed tackle from Mike's dad just lets it in. Mason Hunt for six. Big time plays here from big time players as the Delaware Clams trail kickoff team, or sorry, the yeah, the PAT team enters the field. And it's going to be Mike Williams for the kick as he puts it up and it's good. 7-0. Mustang starting off hot, but can they continue the streak? We're going to have to find out. As Peyton Manning Jr. had a pretty good run in college. You know, he played some solid ball. But end of the day, the MFL is much different. And facing one of the best defensive ends in Kyle Wessex, you never know what's really going to happen. As now kickoff is set to go. Mike's dad knees it before. I believe that's going to put him out to the 30 with today's rolls as it does. And a good spin move for space. Peyton Manning Jr. Oh, he doesn't take advantage of the two blocks of separation on the incompletion of Mike's dad. That could have been good for a first down if he got that. He sends him in motion now as he snaps the ball. Mike's dad slow off the line. Gets another good open space. Finds him this time and it's tackled instantly. And they're going to roll it as complete. He did not drop that ball. It's third and I believe what is five here. So they got to make a big play here. Clock is still running in the first quarter. As now Mike's dad tries getting off the line. They have him clamped here. The lag helps him out as he gets open. Mike or Peyton Manning Jr. finds him on the edge. Good for a first down. And just a first down. No more. I thought the ref was going to place chains a little further. But 10 already for Delaware. They're trying to battle back and make this a 7-7 game. And I like what Mike's dad's doing here. You know, getting off the line, trying to get some space. He hits that out. Oh, trying to play with the receiver. Here comes the pressure from Kyle Wessex. And, oh, just out of reach. It was an accurate pass, but not, you know, not extremely accurate. Not accurate enough as Mike's dad could not pull it in. He takes the snap. Mike's dad could be going deep here. No, he cuts back in. He goes across. But here's Kyle Wessex to put on the pressure. Can he get him? He does. He sacks him. It's going to be a matter of if he got it off in time. He did not. Big sack from Kyle Wessex. Going to set them back 10, 20, 28 yards. It's 38 and thir third and 38, sorry. So big time sack for that big time player we talked about. Mason Hunt struggling to cover him here as now he does. He starts to get these clamps. He just lobs it up. It's a beautiful lob as it's picked by Mike Williams. And oh, tackled almost right away. Gonna put the Mustangs in great field position down at the 32. As their offense now marches back on. 
chains are good to go. So now we just wait as we look to see what's going on with the Mustangs playbook. Minute 23 remains in the first as Mason Hunt lines up in uh, running back formation with Kyle Wessex seeming to be on the edge to block. He needs to drop back a block. He seems to be offsides. And I, yeah, I think they're conveying that now. Uh, Mike Williams showing a great game so far. A pick, you know, a couple yards. And it's another pitch to the opposite side. They thought it was going the other way. A great block from Kyle Wessex as he dives for 12. Kyle Wessex, you really saw it there. Pushed the defender out of the way of the tackle. Made him so he was out of reach, allowing Mason Hunt to get upfield. If he didn't jump there, does he get more yardage? Potentially, but it was a close call. It's going to be a play action. Good read from Mike's dad. Oh, but Mason Hunt turns around. That could have been another touchdown pass there as Mike's dad gave up his coverage assignment. Kyle Wessex also was open there on the flat to the left, or more or less of a short corner out, about a 10-yard corner. But Mike Williams takes the snap. Looking at his coverage is good, but he could find him. No, he takes off the scramble on the edge, trying to cut back in. He does not get it, but he gets 11 on the play. Doesn't break free, but, you know, makes some good plays out of it. The Mustangs, 35 and counting, trying to get another score before the second quarter. The Delaware Clams right now are at a disadvantage, but at any moment in time could switch things up if a third was to join the game. It looks like they're trying to get that play clock down as far as they can before they snap the ball. As it now reaches 16 and counting. Kyle Wessex and uh, Pink Manning Jr. are having a little dance off, it seems. Nine seconds left. And it's six, five, four, three, two, one. And that is the first quarter. So we go into the second quarter of play time. As the Mustangs are out here getting ready to start things off with a solid drive. And it looks like, oh, it's going to be a no encroachment on the defense. An early hit from Mike's dad on the quarterback. That, that was rough, you know. But five yards forward, still first down. It looks like he's arguing a little bit with the ref. But, you know, I don't really think you're getting out of that, Mike dad. Now, Williams sends him out, motioning out Mason Hunt, and he motions him back behind. Could we see the run play that we were waiting for? The run play we thought we would see, and uh, it looks like they're just trying to get things in. No, he rolls out. No coverage on Mason Hunt. Oh, and he misses the pass on Kyle Wessex up the slant. Big loss there, as now it's second and goal. Mustangs trying to get something started. Or they already had some started, but again, play action. Oh, the rushes in, but touchdown pass. Kyle Wessex on the slant. Fits the gap, and he gets it in. Mike Williams, two touchdowns on the day. What some great plays out here. <coughs> 13-0. As it looks, they're going for two. Looks like we could see a run play as we wait for Mike Dad to get on sides. There we go. Could we see the run play come out? You never know what's really going to happen, especially with this offense from what we've seen. Doesn't really look like they've been running that run game too often. But, uh, and there it is. The run game's in. And I think, still, I think they're trying to... I got mis misdirection mine. It's, mis it's misdirection mine, so there is a flag on the play. Mr. All right, so, uh, oh Rex, my. would you like to accept? So there was misdirection on the play. Uh, it's misdirection in Mustangs. They had two balls out. And yeah, Mike Williams just forgot to put away that ball. I think Mikey was going for a fake Mason, because he never put the ball away when he handed it off. So. Uh, no. He landed up the ball. Because mine, Mikey didn't try to push him in. All right, so they will decline 13-0. And as they go to 13-0 now, as they failed the extra or the two-point conversion, they go for an onside now. The Mustangs being very cocky, and it's caught. Peyton Manning Jr. gets tackled almost instantly, setting you know the Clams in very good field position right now. It's so now the three-on-two continues. As the Mustangs defensive end lines up 
a little off. It looks like he's trying to play a little bit of middle linebacker as he clamped up Mike Dad there for a second, but he gets to the edge. He wasn't focused on him, and that's a solid 15-yard pickup for Mike Dad. Peyton Manning Jr. hit a beautiful pass on that out. Mike Dad really just crossed them up. You know, we haven't seen many routes here. We're trying to see really him get open. We've seen that physical side of things, that ability to get open as we see those cuts a lot there as you see that spin around. But now they're playing zone. They're catching on, and he just takes it deep. Peyton Manning Jr. is going to lob one up. Incomplete as it drops short. Nobody there. Well, tons there, but nobody there to make the play, I should say. We're going to see the clams drop it. Trying to, you know, figure things out. I think they want Mike Dad to go to quarterback and lob it up to Peyton Manning Jr. Some misconveyed information potentially going on. And uh, we're going to see. Uh, yeah, they're just trying to figure out what's going on. As Mike, or Peyton Manning Jr. goes back in. Could we see the cutout? Yeah, he cuts it out. He does indeed, but Mason Hunt's there to make the play. No, incomplete. As it seems their third is here. It's going to be Baker Mayfield Jr. now joining the bunch. As we wait to see how this goes, I believe. Would you like to call a timeout and give him a minute to go get his uniform? Or? And uh, All right. the Clams use their first timeout. Uh, going for the timeout. Hey, folks. My name is Mike Williams, owner and founder of Crexies. We have a wide selection of sporting gear from MFL signed cleats, to replica game jerseys. Afraid we don't have a store near you? Well, listen up, because we have stores all over Minecraftia, going from New York all the way over to Los Angeles. So come on down to Crexy Sporting Goods to pick up your MFL apparel and become a beast like you see on TV. And we're back after the timeout. Great words from Crexy Sporting Goods. Mike Williams, quarterback with the Michigan Mustangs there, being their sponsored athlete. Ah, oh, feels just like... Feels like just yesterday when, you know, Crexy Pop had Nate Shade and oh, a pass up the middle a little too high. It's going to be fourth and ten. And oh, oh I think there's going to be a flag on the play. I saw that sprint jumping, but I don't think they called it. No flags on the play. They may have got away with that one. As Baker Mayfield Jr. seen sprint jumping as they're going to send him to quarterback? No, they're... I, I'm, a little, I'm a little confused on what's happening here. And drops back. Kyle Wessex confused in pursuit now. Deep ball caught. It's a 47-yard touchdown pass. As now Baker Mayfield just trots into the end field or er, end zone. Sorry, giving the Clams a seven or eight-point deficit now. They're gonna be trailing, but they go for the extra point, and they're just gonna try and make this a 13-7 game. It looks like on the PAT. Mustang set to defend as they are much too far back. Could be an illegal formation, but no. Uh, I think they catch it. Refs inform them, so they're going to be pushed back. Mike Dad to take the PAT, make it a 13-7 game. And it's up. Oh, he's hit, but after the kick, it's good. 13-7. The Clams are in pursuit of this game. 327 remain in the second quarter before halftime. Mustang set to return here. You take a look back at that play. Just beautiful bullet pass downfield. And, you know, Mike Williams completely forgot the cover. Forgot his assignment. And Baker Mayfield Jr. got wide open deep for the Hail Mary to bring the game back into it. And Mike Dad draw, trots off the field back on now. And we just kind of wait to see how this plays out. Waiting for the kick. And uh, there's no set set of life, no sign of life. And Mike Dad lining up to take the kickoff now, as it's Mike Williams back to return. The kickoff is deep, and it looks like they're gonna knee it, and they do. Gonna put them at the 30. The Mustangs, great field position here, as uh, Peyton Manning Jr. completely missed the assignment, and it could be a rush snap. And, and there's a flag. Offsides. Two players offsides. You know, the Mustangs caught them lacking first and five now. It's, you know, they're already going to be a little upset that they caught on that. 
first and five. As now Mustang snap the ball. Mike Williams looking for a play. Gets the diving. Scramble. It's going to be good for six. So first down for Mike Williams. Great. You know, Mike Williams, don't know if we said this already. He's the season one rushing leader in both attempts and yards. And he is also the season two rushing leader in attempts and yards. So to be out here, you know, seeing that six-yard scramble, getting things started. Mason Hunt leads the pack, however, with his, you know, pretty set standard. Yards three on three. Oh, Mason Hunt cuts back. Looks like Mike Williams is ready for it. Too deep. Let's one fly a little too. Two out of reach above head is this incomplete second and ten. Running back in formation. It's going to be hard to run now. You know, with this pitch they want to do with no blocker. Kyle Wessex seems to be left out of the loop. Just the two talking as Wessex has no idea what's going on on the far edge. He motions Mason Hunt out. Motions him back in. And he snaps the ball. There's the pitch. Wessex with no blocks. He gets tackled for a loss. It's going to be a loss of two on the play. Third and 12. Kyle Wessex missed his blocking assignment three times there. You know, had two opportunities to redeem himself to start off, you know. You know, even just attempting to block would make him look a little better. But he didn't even make an attempt until it was too late. The pitch came on. Then he hit a player back. Missed the first hit on him. Now they're going to run a double post. Mike Williams under pressure. They decide to cut back to the same side. And it's incomplete. Too far out of reach. Kyle Wessex decides to look back. And it's going to be fourth and ten. Mustangs may have to punt this ball off. And they elect a punt, it looks like, as it's going to be Peyton Manning Jr. going back to return. The punt is off, and it's going to be returned back at around the 16, but he brings it out. Cuts in. A good block. No, he doesn't even attempt the block. Baker Mayfield just lets him get the tackle to the 24-yard line as the Clams now look to charge. A score, or touchdown ties the game. Touchdown and PAT takes the lead as they look to take the first lead of the game from the Clams. 141 and going. Second quarter. They look to take the lead before the end of the half. And if that's possible, we're about to find out. Takes the snap. Pressure off the line from Mike Williams. But Daniel, or sorry, Mike, Dad. Oh, deep ball out of reach. Baker Mayfield Jr. Going to get caught. Lacking and sprint jumps back to the line again. But no flags called. It's a rough, rough, roughing group out here. Don't want to call nothing, it seems like. And a snap is taken. And no one's open, but they're... Oh, he gets deep. Mason Hunt gets burnt, and it's... Oh, incomplete. They look to target Mike Dad. Third and ten here. The Mustangs defense looking solid with a minute 14 left in the half. All they got to do is close them out, and they are in field goal range if they force a turnover here. The Clams brainstorming a play to come out, you know, playing with a team of three rookies. So we got three veterans, well, two veterans and a one-year experience, Mason Hunt versus three rookies. Never really a great combo. And, oh, he they both get burnt. The cornerbacks, no idea what's going. Deep pass, Baker Mayfield Jr., the 20. The 10. It's going to be a Delaware touchdown. Tying the game. 13-13. Delaware is back in the game just like that. Tying it up. They're going to look to go for one to take this a point lead. As Mike Dad takes it and it's up. Untouched. 14-13. to 13, The Clams lead with 55 remaining on the clock. The Mustangs really got to get something going as we take another look at that. All the way from the 24, you see 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 76 yard touchdown pass. I think that's the longest in the MFL ever as now it's going to be on the uh, return down to the 6, 14. So bad field position with 50 remaining. This clock continues to go. Mike Williams getting ready to snap it. I don't think he realized clock was still running. He was taking a little while there. He's looking for something. There's Mason Hunt on the edge. And it's a terrible pass. Incomplete, but it does stop the clock. 
Gotta think though, you hit Mason Hunt there, solid 20 plus yard gain. Would have got them out of this bad predicament. Takes the ball again. You know, you got Mason Hunt up the slot, finds him, and he gets boosted up to about the 32. So, Michigan gotta keep going. Three timeouts, 25 seconds remain, but they aren't using any of them. Clock still running as the ref hurries to put the chains down. And there they go. They're able to snap it 21 or 28 as they give him some time for the uh, chains being set, it appears. And he's just wasting all that clock again. There's the snap. 21 once again. Almost as nothing happened. Kyle Wessex open deep. Gonna look to lob it up. And he just keeps going vertical or horse or diagonal. Jeez, I can't think. Kyle Wessex now sprint jumps back to the line. 14 seconds remain. It would take a miracle to gain the lead. Three timeouts. It's possible. But it will be hard as it's now a missed screen pass. Third and ten. He takes the snap. Mike Williams looking for someone open. Looks for Mason Hunt. Over the top. Incomplete. Seven seconds remain. Fourth and ten. The Mustangs may have to take it to the half. Mike, don't crouch. And it looks like they're going to do the old toss back deep pass. And you can go. Yeah, oh, legal jumping is going to give them another play. But caught. But caught. Mason Hunt takes he off. Turns it. Tackled. End, but it second. could be... Another play from Michigan. So illegal jumping uh, on corrects legal bunny hopping would be first at the 30 with seven seconds remaining. So it gives them another shot at life. No, not that 30. Seven seconds left. The illegal sprint jumping from Mike Dad really just helped them out here. As now Mike Williams got to go quick. Seven seconds, throws it away, leaving three on the clock. You know, nothing was open. I don't blame him for throwing it like that. But he definitely could have made an attempt. Maybe throwing a little higher, trying to hit Mason Hunt. Probably the best receiver that he has deep downfield. Taking his time here. A three-second Hail Mary to, tie, or to take the lead before the half. Could put this game away. That's the end of halftime regulation. He lobs it up. And it is caught by Mason Hunt, but tackled instantly. Down at the th opposite 28. It's not good enough for a touchdown though. No extra time remaining. That's something they would have needed earlier in this game. Or earlier in this half to keep them alive. As now we head to halftime. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. The camera was not recording, sadly. But Delaware came down to a fourth and long situation where they punted it. And Mason Hunt returned it for a touchdown. This play is under review. And the play stands as it will be a punt return touchdown for Mason Hunt. And uh, the Clams are a little upset about it. So 19-14 for the Michigan Mustangs as now they look to take that extra PAT and that uh, could be unsportsmanlike. And oh, Mason Hunt getting physical with them. And now Mike Dad just going crazy. We might see some flags get thrown if things continue. But the ref's being very passive. And oh, fight breaks loose as Mike Dad continues to hit. Kyle Wessex now getting involved. And this the, the refs need to get involved here. This is all just getting too out of hand. Mustangs and Clams. Unsportsman. Cracks, who are you playing for? Uh, unsportsmanlike penalty, Mike's dad. And yeah, Mike's dad gets that unsportsmanlike penalty. He was egging on some fights, and it, you know he just got caught for it. That's how it is, and the kick is up. 20-14, to 14. 15-yard penalty will be applied after the kickoff. Don't let that for, or leave your brain. As now we see the kickoff take off. And they could knee it, but kneeing, it's going to put them at the 10. So yeah, puts them at the 10. They could have fought for some extra yards, but... No, end of the day, they would have needed a big gain for that. Three, two, one. And now there is a delay no, of did game not, did not get it off. on the Delaware Clans. Five-yard penalty, loss of And they, they just try to throw it up, but that's not how that works. You can't just get a free play on a delay of game. The Clams, I don't know what they're doing, but now they're second and 15 at the five. And, you know, we could see a big play if Kyle Wessex comes in. He has one sack already. 
The pass is off. Caught. Mike Williams misses a tackle. And it's going to be down where he lagged at. So down at the 22, I believe, is where that ball should be placed. And the lag from Baker Mayfield Jr. was not in his not in his favor there. They got the first down. As now we see chain set. There could be multiple, multiple ball movement here. Oh no, Baker Mayfield put away that ball. From the 22, maybe a false start off sides. I don't know. No, they're not going to call nothing. Peyton Manning Jr. lobs it up. It could be picked. No, no one's on him. It's just too short. And now they go again. There's the snap. Second and 10. Mike Dad wide open. He doesn't even look at him. He's not even paying attention to Mike Dad. Mine, did you Could hear it him? be picked? Caught though, taken, I'm going off my and it's a legal formation, formation. <laughs> so it doesn't even matter. A legal formation on the quarterback, probably called shotgun, went in the pistol, I believe, if I saw that right. So it's going to be, I believe, five yards back, loss of a down. Yes, so third and 15 again. You know, Kyle Wessex getting some extremely great pressure on this quarterback tonight. But he just keeps dropping back way too far for him to get a sack. Deep ball picked off by Mason Hunt. And he's going to take it as a couple missed tackles come in. Finally gets brought down at about the 49 there. So Mustangs get the ball back. 20 to 14 a chance to extend their lead. And he takes the snap. Hugging the hash there. And he's getting, you know, getting a little frisky. Rolling out. Hits the edge. No, cannot fit the pocket. Or fit the window, sorry. It's going to be second and 10. Mike Williams in the Mustangs lead by six. So they need to get some points on the board to extend their lead and ensure their safety here. And it's going to be a play action with no fake handoff. Looking for Mason Hunt there. No. Needs to get this out. Looks for Mason Hunt on the corner. Little too high. As it's, you know, just out of reach. Third and ten. Mustangs take the snap. Need a conversion here. If not, they need to punt the ball. Mason Hunt has some space. And it's just too far behind. Mike Williams struggling here. Showing why, you know, he lost that Diamond Bowl too. And he drops back with the old toss back throw. It's going to be an arm punt if picked off. But picked off by Baker Mayfield Jr. Pinning Delaware at the 20. So huge arm punt for Michigan. Putting them at the 20. Probably better than what an actual punt would have been. Because it gave his teammates time to get downfield. Caught. You know, big game there. 30, 40, 52 yard pass to Baker Mayfield Jr. They're just abusing the deep pass game, but you can't complain. They knew what they wanted to do and they're doing it. That's all I can say. They're out here to win and they're showing that. From the 28, going to set back in formation. And the clock's just running. They are not snapping the ball. And uh, just wasting precious clock here as they finally snap the ball here. They're looking for Baker Mayfield on the corner route. He cut in corner, and it's just too short. Could not reach it. He jumped for it. It was a little under. Third and 10. Clams take the snap once again. Great pressure off the line from Mike Williams, but doesn't. And it, I think he threw it. I don't know what happened there, but they go for the old toss back, toss up. 4th and 10 from the 28. He's out of range of the end zone. It could be incomplete. It is. Turnover on down. Mustangs get the ball back. This could be huge. As it's now a handoff. Terrible pass back. But it doesn't matter. It's a forward pass from the quarterback standpoint. So no fumble on the play. You know, the, the quarterback's just doing terrible handoffs here. As now motioning out the running back. Drops in the shotgun. Takes the snap. Minute 39 left in the third quarter as they try to extend their drop back and it's a sack. Mike Dad gets a sack on Mike Williams. Mike on Mike action, as I like to say. It's going to be third and, what, 15, I believe, 16 maybe. As now the Mustangs look to battle back and get the conversion. Had a little bit of space on Kyle Wessex, but they're putting their best cornerback on the worst receiver, arguably. Lobbing one up, incomplete. They're going to have to more than likely punt this away. And 
And the punt goes deep to the 30. As now Peyton Manning Jr. on the return. And there's Mason Hunt getting boosted back. And he gets him. Delaware with the ball. After penalty up to the 38. Or after the return, sorry. To the 38. And they're just wasting clock. They might just try and run this down to the uh, fourth quarter here. And no. They finally get the ball off. Incomplete pass. Going to stop the clock. They're just wasting game time not even just oh there they go they snapped the ball finally Peyton Manning Jr. really taking his time here to get things started and it's just gonna be a deep ball they're just gonna abuse that over and over and we actually tab out caught by Baker Mayfield Jr. and he's tackled within the 20 they're now in field goal range or they're now in the red zone sorry the block zone But it's a flag. There was a flag on the play. Sets them back. Going to lob it up. It's picked by Mike Williams. Mike Williams brings it. He gets another pick on the day. Peyton Manning Jr. not catching a break. Nine left in the third. We're almost out of this game. And it's looking like it's over. If Michigan has one good drive, I'm ready to say that no matter what the Clams do, they're going to have to kick it back to Michigan. And it's just going to be game. You know, you take it into perspective. Michigan scores 27-14. The Clams score 27-21. And then you look. Michigan has the ball again. They can run clock. They can do whatever they want. Oh, Mike Williams lobs one deep. Kyle Wessex, and he cannot pull it in. He misses the ball again. They're going to have to figure something out here quick. And it's a pitch to Mason Hunt. Hits the edge, and it looks like he got one on the play. No, ref's going to say he didn't get a single. No, yeah, there it is. A one-yard pickup on the pitch. You know, terrible game plan. You have your only blocker on the field, complete opposite side. You're pitching it. The running back's not diving for extra yards. He just runs it. And, oh, Mason Hunt could find it up the middle. He does. First down and more. Missed tackles coming in from Peyton Manning Jr. He finally gets taken down across the 50. This could be... It. The Mustangs are in the fourth quarter. They could run clock and score again if they really wish. As now they just try to waste clock on every single snap. And they... It looks like we're trying to kick a player, but he's not going. As le and he left the game. So, luckily, leaves the game. Chains are set to go. We hit just under four minutes. They motion Kyle Wessex far out. And it's a snap play action as they fake the running back. And Mike Williams trying to scramble. Hits the edge. Gets about two. No. Ref's going to call it for one. I'm not sure if I agree with that call. No. They move it up two. So, you know, referee master over there. Referee mind master over there. You know, he's coming in clutch with these run play calls. It's that screen to Mason Hunt. He's going to get... A lot. Looks like he could have got the first down there. Maybe short, and they do. Third and one there on the play. Big time plays. Good reads from Mike Williams. We saw a lot of times in the past, he misses those screen passes. Those crucial screen passes he needs, but he's coming in big here in the fourth quarter. Third, or three, 11, and counting in the fourth. And this drive is looking promising for the Mustangs. It's a punch through the air. Hand off to Mason Hunt. <sighs> First down for a, about four or five. So the Mustangs back in this, or got the, not back in this game, sorry. They have the lead, but the Mustangs got the first down, giving them a chance to score. They are now in field goal range, just barely made it as the snap comes out with two receivers wide. Looking for Kyle Wessex, he finds him. It's a beautiful, goes untouched in the 10. Kyle Wessex mit, broke one tackle off him as they missed. And he got them into the block zone. The Mustangs are here. They're about to score. 
and he takes the knee to get rid of the auto blitz. Beautiful play making ability from Mike Williams. Second and goal from the 11. A handoff could put them in the end zone as a special handoff gets them about 12. And now he's looking for it, throws it away. You know, defender in his face, just trying to get away. And the pitch to the edge. And there's sprint jumping. It gets them to the one. Mason Hunt, beautiful 10-yard run. It's fourth and one, though. Fourth and one. We could see a penalty come out as they look to hand it off again. Getting Mason Hunt into the end zone to finish this off. And it's an encroachment call. That's automatic first down. Yeah, early hit there from the defensive end. And it's just, yeah, hand off to Mason Hunt through the group. He fights for those yards and he gets the first down. As minute 39 left on the clock as they go for two. And they oh, uh, hand it. it off again. What a base. Two point conversion good. 28 to 14. That will ensure. And you just take another look at this pitch here. Great pitch. As if it wasn't for the sprint jumping, I think he honestly gets the 11 yard touchdown. But it doesn't really matter. He got the touchdown anyways. They make this game a 14 point game. So even though the Clams return the onside, there is still a lot of hope here. You know, I don't think, I think this game is completely over. It's a two score game, minute 39 remaining. They have two timeouts, or sorry, they have three timeouts. That one still gone from the first half, but they have three timeouts with the one minute warning. This is possible if they play how they've been playing. And yeah, they're just going to go deep. Peyton Manning Jr., the pressure comes in, but he's just going too far deep as it's incomplete. You see there, it's coming in short. Peyton Manning Jr. is dropping back 15 to 20 blocks every single setback. You know, it's great because Kyle Resix can't reach him, but there was a penalty on the play. Not sure what. Could have been sprint jumping. Not too sure. This team's kind of known for it. Maybe a legal formation as Peyton Manning Jr. is arguing. But yeah, they're getting out of range of Kyle Wessex so we can't get a sack. But at the end of the day, you're making it. So you're not hitting these deep passes. Kyle Wessex back in pursuit. Deep ball. Could be picked. No, just too short. The receiver had a terrible read on it. As now they sprint jump back to the line. I think the ref saw it. No. Went under his nose once again. 130 left on the clock. In the fourth quarter. It's third and 15. Kyle Wessex getting ready to pursue. There he goes. It's a deep ball though. And Mike Williams with another interception. They're going to say he pulled it in before the hit. And now we're getting, uh, I don't know what's going on. Kyle Wessex taunting Peyton Manning Jr. And I don't blame him one bit. He's been playing terrible. You fucking suck, bro. You actually suck. Like and there's uh, a punch. Mike like, Dad punches yeah. Kyle Wessex, and he just eats it. Um, Continues to dad. taunt Second the on in the game. And they can't do anything about it. They, they have nothing to say back. It's a minute 20, 28-14, Mustangs lead in the fourth. And Kyle Wessex <laughs> is just eating this up. He's been playing great. He got a sack, forcing the offense to drop back so much that they can't even complete a deep pass anymore. I mean... And there's the snap. I think there's offsides on Kyle Wessex. Uh, but no, that no flags called. And it's just going to be thrown a little too short now, incomplete. 113 remains as they hit. Oh, the blocks from Kyle Wessex on the play action. And, you know, they really faked the run there. As I was just going to throw it away. Great play from Mike Williams. Good field awareness on the blitz. He just let that go. Let it get out of his way. Now we're going to see both receivers lining up wide. Mason Hunt. Oh, oh that's, no, that's not Mason Hunt. That's Kyle Wessex just sprint jumping on his route. Going to cause them the play. Illegal sprint jumping. Uh, it's rough to see. Minute 25 remains. I think we actually went up in clock. But hey, you know, it's okay. They're going to do the old pass back toss up. Where Mike Williams now looking to get this. Now's the time to throw it. He does. Intercepted by Baker Mayfield Jr. But it puts them at the 12. The 11, sorry. So this could be huge. Not much room for Peyton Manning Jr. to go back as now Kyle Wessex can contain him. And you see he stops going back. And it's a sack. I think they're going to call it a sack as the camera goes to the forward. And they do. They're going to roll him down the 1. It is 2nd and 20 
on the one yard line. Clock is still running with 54 and going. The Delaware Clams are in a terrible situation. There's nowhere for Peyton Manning Jr. to go but to the side. And at that point, all Kyle Wessex has to do is play him horizontally. This has been a defensive sided game. You can argue the Mustangs have played good offense, but at the end of the day, two sacks, probably three or four picks, and there's another one. Kyle Wessex comes in and he racks up the safety against Peyton Manning Jr. With only 26 to remain, the Mustangs go up 30 to 14 and they get the ball back. Kyle Wessex is having himself a game. Three sacks, one was a it safety. Is, yeah, a punt. Here comes. No. And yeah, a penalty, penalty comes out from the early kick. Early it's gonna be formation, formation so it's gonna be from the, the clams. He need it after hit 25. So yeah, five. it's just going to be a struggle for this team. They don't really yeah, know what they're oh, no, 30, doing. 30, 30, 30, 30. Puts them at the 30 due to the illegal formation call. And all they have to do is run the clock down and the Mustangs win this game. They're up by 16 points. There's no comeback possible here. Even with a deep pass, an onside, and another deep pass, they would still be down so much. And not only clock, but score. And it's our run going to get sacked, or not sacked, stuffed at the line. So great tackle from Peyton Manning Jr., I believe that was. And the clock continues to run. And what in the world just happened? Uh, okay, just everyone's you know shaking hands, getting things done with, but I think there's a flag. No, no flag. Okay, I thought the clock stopped at four seconds, but I suppose not. And that's the game. 30-14. to 14. Michigan Mustangs win this year. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for f joining me tonight on Centennial Station, where the Michigan Mustangs defeated the Delaware Clams 30-14. to 14. Please consider liking the video and subscribing if you enjoyed our content and commenting down below how you felt about this game. I will see you next week with some more MFL action.